10.7c quadratic formula, missing terms. If we have a term that's missing, we will use zero in place of that term in the quadratic formula. For example, in example one, we have our a. We do not have an x term, which means we have a zero for our b. And we have negative 51 for our c. So when we plug this into our formula, which if you recall is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2 times a. We're going to use our 0 for our b, so we have 0 plus or minus the square root of 0 squared minus 4 times our a, which is 3, times our c, which is negative 51, all over 2 times our a, which is 3. Simplifying what's inside the radical and dropping our 0, because adding it to anything doesn't make any difference, we get plus or minus the square root of 612 all over 6. Um, because 612 does not have a um, perfect root, we're going to leave our answer like this. In a later unit, you will learn how to simplify this into, um, well, I guess it's, I don't know, I'll just say you're, you're going to learn how, learn how to simplify the radical. At this point, we will just leave our answer just like this. The only ones that you will have to do anything with are ones that have perfect squares. So this is our answer for this particular problem. Let's look at example two. In example two, it is not equal to zero, so we need to make it equal to zero, which means we're going to move our 2x over by subtracting 2x from both sides. We now have 5x squared minus 2x equal to zero. Our a is our 5, our b is negative 2, and we are missing our c, so we'll use a 0 in place of our c. So when we put this in our quadratic formula, we're going to get a positive 2 plus or minus the square root of 2 squared minus 4 times our a, which is 5, times our c, which was 0, all over 2 times our a, which is 5. Now when we multiply this out and simplify the inside, we're going to get 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 all over 10. We can take the square root of 4, so we now have 2 plus or minus 2 all over 10. So we have 2 plus 2 over 10, which gives us 4 tenths, which will simplify down to 2 fifths. We have 2 minus 2 over 10, which gives us 0 over 10, which simplifies simply to 0. So we have x is equal to 0 and 2 fifths.